So today's project is to make a green bean casserole. I've never made one. So uh, I got the recipe online and as per usual, I don't really know how to cook. I just follow recipes and for the most part, my stuff comes out pretty good. So um, I'm gonna make this and <laughs> and also I, uh, earlier today, one of my coworkers showed me this really cute uh, arts and crafts arts and crafts project that she's gonna do with her kids it involves a wine glass and um, hers is a, a jack-o-lantern that you would draw on the on the wine glass but since I love the nightmare before Christmas like many other people do um, I think I'm gonna turn my my wine glass into a Jack Skellington and also please forgive me I have no idea why I'm stuttering today what you need is three quarter cups of milk a ten and a half ounce can of cream of mushroom, um, one eight tablespoon of black ground pepper, and two cans of green beans, and you bake them for 30 minutes at 350. I can't screw that up. I mean, that seems pretty easy. And then also, you can get these, these. So, um, crispy fried onions to top it so I don't think I can screw this up I think this is what it's supposed to look like um, green bean casserole <laughs> who wants to be my guinea pig <laughs> hey Siri set a timer for 30 minutes okay 30 minutes and counting <coughs> Thank you. Okay, so I think this, I like this one, maybe. Or, um, hmm. This one's not very round. Okay, this one. I think this one will do for the project. Okay, so while the casserole is cooking, I am going to work on my little project. Um, what you need is some white paint, and some black paint because, uh, well, Jack Skelly, Jack Skellington's face is just white. that it's uh, drying when the paint starts turning a uh, dull color like a little bit more opaque than the rest because otherwise it's kind of glossy so then um, once it's sort of dry you take more paint and you pile it on so you can have two coats of paint and it could look better or at least in my opinion the less brush strokes you do the better because then it doesn't look sloppy <laughs> I'm doing this really fast so it might come out sloppy but if you have the time just take your time and do less brush strokes
that looks good to me. Okay, so now it's time for the fun part, or I always call the difficult part the fun part. So you're gonna take your black and you're gonna decide which you want the front to be and so I'm gonna make this my front of the face and I'm just gonna draw I like to think of Jack's eyes as two like kidney beans sort of so I'm gonna draw two of them if you need a picture for reference I think you should just do that and then try to just copy it <laughs> The eyes, like I said, kidney beams of some sort. This paint kind of sucks. I don't recommend this paint. Don't ever buy Craft Smart from Michaels. <laughs> Go with the the more expensive brand. I think they have like some apple orchard or some some stuff like that. Don't don't be duped like I was. It was on sale, so I decided to buy it. You have to do like two three coats to get. <sighs> okay, so now the mouth. Found a a paintbrush that's thin. And you're just gonna draw. A line going from here to there you can curve it or you can just make it sort of like a smiley face a little And then um, just do like the crisscrossy lines that he has on his mouth. It doesn't have to be like super neat, just random little lines going up and down. So, see? So once you've done the face, you have to do the rest of the body. So he can have, you know, like his little suit that he wears. And so you just take the black and wherever the neck ended, you just paint the rest black. And then you can do this, the pinstriping on it. I'll show you guys the finished product. My masterpiece. <laughs> Doesn't look very appetizing, but it smells good. So here's the finished product. The pinstripes didn't come out all that great, but it's okay.